I've been asking you guys like crazy about who this is inspired by. Well, as you can tell by the title, Sky Ferreira is the inspiration for this grungy kind of look. A lot of you guessed Mary Kate Olsen and Ellie Goulding and so many people that were just not right and I'm sorry um, that you got it wrong. But um, today we are going to be doing a recreation of Sky's signature grunge 80s kind of hair and makeup. It's one of my favorite looks now. I love the straight brows on me a lot. So if you want to see how to do this, then keep watching. Guy always has really natural looking skin and she doesn't try to hide all of her imperfections. So you want to pick a natural foundation and try not to conceal every little thing on your face to make it flawless because that's not the look we're going for. So I'm going to be recreating her grungy look. She has a lot of looks, but this one in particular I think is pretty typical of Sky. Getting started, I'm going to do my brows. Now brows are signature of Skye's. She has amazing brows and they're very straight and they're dark and she has bleached hair kind of like I do. So I like that contrast. So I'm going to try to recreate the shape of her brow by doing my brows as straight as they can go even though they do have kind of an arch. I'm just going to not really fill in this back part of my brow just to keep it pretty straight. Now, you don't want to use any primer, and to me, this look looks so much better towards the end of the day after you've worn it for a few hours, and that's my favorite time that this look kind of, as it develops. So no primer, because you do want it to eventually crease, unless that really drives you crazy, then you can apply primer if you want to. I'm going to just line the outer part of my tight line just to give some definition to my lashes because I don't have any definition naturally there. that a little bit on the lower lash line tab, some definition there as well. It's perfectly okay to be really messy with this look, you actually want to be really messy. Just so you know, the eyeliner I'm using is the Gosh Liner in Black Ink. So I'm actually going to be using three paint pots for this look. Okay, I lied, it kind of is an eye primer because I'm going to be using Painterly all over the lid. Um, and then going in with like a nude colored shadow. I guess this stops creasing, so I guess it kind of is a primer, but you don't want to use anything other than this. You can also just go right into the eyeshadow and just not apply this painterly, but I like the look with it. with a warm colored paint pot I'm gonna be using groundwork from Mac you can use an eyeshadow for this I am going to set this with an eyeshadow you don't have to have this any sort of brown cream shadow or warm brown eyeshadow like you haven't slept in a week but you do want to go quite low with it hers is very smoky on the bottom I know it looks scary right now once we add the mascara and everything else trust me it'll all come together so the next thing I'm going to take is quite natural paint pot from Mac it's a little bit darker I'll compare the two it's still a warm brown but it's just a tad darker than groundwork as you can tell this one's quite natural so I'm gonna go in with that kind of close to the lash line using the same brush blend that out and set it just a little bit I'm going to take Buck from the Naked palette you can use any warm brown eyeshadow you don't have to use this one I think originally I used cork from Mac you can use anything take a little bit of a cream shadow you can use the darker one or the lighter one I think I'm gonna go in with the lighter one just to contour a little bit on the upper lash line only on the outer part of the lash line especially if you have hooded lids because if you go all the way in it's gonna look closed off and you want a nice soft lid Of that line 
liner, I'm going to go in with the black liner again. The key to Sky's look is to keep your whole waterline clear of any product. So you're not going to go on your inner rims or anything with the black, just on the outer lash line. I'm just going to take a skin toned color, or well not skin toned, but like a light white, whitish cream color all over the lid just on the inner half not where we applied the cream shadow and you want to make sure that all the shadows you're using for this look are matte she has no shimmer whatsoever or at least in the look that i'm creating she has no shimmer so make sure they're all matte the next thing we're going to do is apply mascara so that is it for the eye look i know it's really like a lot of baggage but once we add this it'll all come together Bit, just using a warm colored bronzer, matte bronzer, just a little bit on my cheekbones. And now we're going to recreate Skye's grungy stained mouth. She has like a little bit of extra darkness around the inside of her mouth, so we're going to recreate that with a stain. I'm going to be using the Staniac by The Balm, and I love this color for this look. It's absolutely perfection. I just got a sample of it, I think in a glossy box once, um, but it's the absolute perfect product for this look. Makeup, let's go ahead and move on to the hair. So to get Skye's kind of messy, grungy hair, you want to have dirty hair. This is like third day hair for me, and because I didn't do anything with it for three days, it's still a little bit too clean, so I'm going to give it a dirty feel by using hairspray and dry shampoo. I know dry shampoo, you're like, well that makes your hair look clean. Well, it also, if it's clean, makes it, adds product in it, so it kind of gives a dirty effect. So I'm going to add some of this just in this part of my hair. Now, if you have bleached hair with roots like I do, then you are good to go with Sky's color. If not, you may not look exactly like her, but I don't look exactly like her. It's just a recreation of her look, but you do want messy, kind of dirty hair. shampoo is it adds a lot of volume to your hair because you do want it to be kind of poofy not like super big but you know a little bit fluffy so I'm just gonna take a flat iron and kind of go through certain parts like my bangs I don't want to make them like perfectly straight or anything just to calm them down a little bit and I'm also gonna add a few waves on this side of my head so once all my hair is like over on one side like and how that is I'm going to use this to wave a bit. Sky Fiera, Ferreira um, hair and makeup. Make sure you stay tuned for the lookbook video for outfits inspired by Sky. Um, I'm really excited to film that as well. So I hope this was helpful and you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.